Hey guys, crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we have no Melanie this week. Aaron, where is your wife? I don't know. Home. He never knows where she is. Kids. She sleeps. South Bill and I. Babby. Comes home, takes a shower back. right away. Oh, touch me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there were kids. He's and, sick. Uh, That's why had, she's not touching me. We had no, no sitter. No sitter? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll catch back up with her about this episode next time, but we need to catch up about last episode this time. We had a poll. What was in the poll, Aaron? <laughs> I believe the poll was who do you think was uh, who, oh no, who did you fear for the most in the last battle the, the battle of the battle. gold road yeah. we had uh, Jamie Braun, Daenerys and Drogon I believe I said Drogon I was most fearful which for main the character were you most fearful fearful for this episode yes yep. the answers were Jamie, Drogon Daenerys and Sir Braun mm -hmm. we had Daenerys at 1%. 1%? <laughs> Plot armor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jamie Lannister with 20%. Okay. Drogon at 34%. Really? And Braun at 43%. 43% for yeah. Braun. Okay. I was most fearful for Braun. Yeah. I find it funny that she had 1%. Out of 1,583 votes, 1%. 1%. Yeah. How many votes for her? Can you see that? No, we can't see no, it. No, it's a 1%. Oh. You can divide at 1% of 1,583. I ain't doing that. Work math. Oh, comments. <laughs> it's like death. Fifteen people. So what were people saying, Aaron? Dang, there's a lot of comments. Yeah. There's so many comments. I'm trying it was to go a big to, episode. Trying to go to the top ones to see who commented first. Everyone knows Daenerys will live, but I bet she'll die sometime before the finale. As for Jamie, he gave me anxiety when he ran to Drogon, Jesus Christ. <laughs> idiot. Yeah. Um, I couldn't decide who to root for during this battle. Yep. Um Agreed. Stormwolf said, I have to go with Braun since he's just a sidekick character. The rest, I think, would at least be safe until the finale or something. Kimberly said, normally I'd root for Braun staying alive, but the second he started trying to kill my boy Drogon, Braun was dead to me. <laughs> uh, Dalton said, Sir Braun just cannot catch a break. True. Josh said, Braun was the only character I thought could possibly die, and I really want to see him and Tyrion reunite. Me too, very much so. Yeah. Joel said, Braun and Drogon are equally important to me. I was worried about both of them and didn't want to see either one of them die. Yeah. It could have been one of those things where, like, he was, like, sitting there with the thing. He starts blowing fire. He shoots at the same time. And they, and both, they both get hit. die. Yeah. yeah, you know? Yeah. They get happen with those things, hmm. I think, all the time. And Danny falls in the river. It's washed and out the sea. And then Aaron said, no option for Dickon. Shame. <laughs> Dickon. Uh, well, we're not out of the uh, woods or the water yet because Jamie is sinking fast and... What appears to be very deep water, but they were standing in it. But uh, at least huh? the horses were going through it. Jamie's sinking down, right? And he has, uh, he has armor on. Like yeah. So. I mean, it's a, it's a river. There's like yeah. sandbars and stuff in rivers. Yeah. Um, it just seemed like wherever they fell was right where the horses were. So no, it has, yeah. It has to be like a really I think. Stint, you know. I think the rate at which Braun was running to like yeah. throw him off, he's going like. 35 miles an hour <laughs> to knock he? him off that horse and fly that far into the river. 34. <laughs> <laughs> he had to have been. Jamie had so much forward momentum and they just took him straight sideways. Yeah. It's just funny. Okay, uh, so we have we had the, uh, I think they call it the loot loot trail or something attack is what they've been calling it. I can't the remember Loot exactly. trail attack? Not loot trail. Loot, of tears. Loot train attack is what they're calling it. Oh. When I first heard it, I'm like, loot crate? Loot of tears? Smash crate. Look at that. No. Uh, but so we had that. We also had uh, Bran giving the knife t uh, from Littlefinger to Arya. Arya having a badass fight with Brienne. Shit, shit. I love that fight. Yeah. That was, that was good. Mm -hmm. John did some finger painting. What? Finger painting. Yeah, finger painting. Oh, finger painting. painting. <laughs> this like a slumber or something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was some other cool stuff too, but I just want to get into the really cool stuff now. So make sure you guys are sticking around for, we'll do a Q&A afterwards where we get your questions from Twitter. Mm. We'll also do a uh, another poll another poll mm -hmm. that you can uh, vote on and comment about. And if you want to see the entire video, this entire reaction, we also have that as a reward tier on Patreon. So if this is going to be a crazy episode and we can only get 10 minutes down in this video, there is going to be the entire reaction that you can sync up with your own copy of the episode yes. later. We'll so. also be doing a questions and answers. That's what we, we use. It's a chain thing. Hit a button. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, there we go. You've seen this before. You're fucked. What do you mean, we're fucked? No, I do not. <laughs> Dragons are where our partnership ends. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! That's a lot of fucking men. They catch. It's Draco. Draco. You are the lunch. I offer you a choice: bend the knee and join me, or refuse and die. Mm. That's a that's, that's a, a it's a clear choice, isn't it? Is, yeah, She's was, giving them a choice, though. Of course, they wouldn't give people a choice. This is the Jakar's music. Jakar's. Shit. I don't like that. that. Means, uh, I don't really like that shit. I love, I love when the camera falls and he's walking. My lord. He's such a fervent walker. Tyrion didn't kill Joffrey. He had nothing to do with it. After all this time, it still amazes me. You're so Lena. If you were Lena, would you rather have seen your granddaughter married to Joffrey or Tommen? Which one would have made Lena the true ruler of the Seven Kingdoms? She was telling the truth. Smart man. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Face to face with Drogon? Ha. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm fighting that with going back down, John. Hey, you didn't get him back up your mouth. Touch him. Oh. Poke his nose. He's gonna reach out and pet him? Come on. Holy oh, shit, this is amazing! Oh my gosh. Dude! He's like calmed and just letting him pet him. She looks surprised. She's so she is. She's is the first baby. person that's ever gotten close to any oh, of her dragons. He's good with kids. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I kind of have a tear in my eye right now. Come on, take your shirt. Tell her. Take your Tell shirt. Tell her. Damn it, Dothraki. Dora! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Cock black, but I love you. Oh, oh shit, he's oh. warging. Wait, Brand? he's warging like a lot of them. What in the world? Scouts. He's Sauron. Oh, Holy shit. shit. Eastwatch. Yeah. That's... Wow, Eastwatch is awesome. You will not walk, but you will fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prophecy. You can see the army from the air. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Lights king. You can sense Ben oh, Brand. Damn. damn it. Who's that for? Jon Snow. Did you read it? It's a sealed scroll for the king in the north. Of course I did. What's it say? <laughs> Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> what if we prove her wrong? I don't think she'll come see the dead at my invitation. Yeah. So bring the dead to her. Good. Only one soldier. Is that possible? No. Oh. The only person she listens to is Jamie. Oh shit. He might listen to Oh. Him. Shit. Okay. Fuck. I'll cut them in half. And how would you get him to King's Landing? Smuggler! Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. With the Queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. What? You asked me to find a cure so I could serve you. Allow me to serve you. He is a man of Bear Island. Yeah. He's a Northman. He is a Northman. They won't follow Sir Jorah. They won't have to. Oh shit, John. You don't have to do everything, buddy. He... She's worried. She is. Take a dragon. I haven't given you permission to leave. Ugh. <sighs> King of the North, With bitch. respect, your grace, I don't need your permission. <laughs> Fuck no, you don't. I'm asking you. To trust in a stranger. Look at the subtle acting there. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I love that moment. Say what you mean. You always liked nice things. Makes you feel better than everyone. Don't say that. So you can work together to give you what you really want. How can you even think such a horrible thing? You're thinking it right now. She has faceless men training. Yeah. yeah. They can read emotions. You don't want to be. Last time I was here, I killed my father with a crossbow. Last time I was here, you killed my son with wildfire. Mm. Oh, burn. They're gonna meet Tyrion, aren't they? And here I Sneaking am, in. ready to train. Why down here? You won't be swinging it at me. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my gosh. Father would have been 
proud. Don't talk about my father. Listen to I me. I once told Bron that if I ever saw you again, I'd cut you in half. Still in half. Of course, it'll take you a while with a sparring sword. He'll make do. Look at that intensity. Do you think did you think I wanted to be born this way? Did you think I chose? What do you want? Shit. That's some good fucking acting. Oh, please, my God, gosh. be Gendry. Please. Holy shit, oh be Gendry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh, he looks shit. like a oh, badass Christian Bale. <laughs> but you might still be rolling. <laughs> <laughs> That's some fucking fan service. Shop. Nothing fucks you harder than time. <laughs> You want me to come with you? Yes! You need Dude, to understand I'm ready. Oh, yes! Guys. Yes! I've been getting ready. Yeah. I never knew what for, but I've always known that. He's wearing Baratheon colors. Yes, he is. I've got a hammer. I don't know much about swinging swords. Yeah, <laughs> he's swinging hammers. <laughs> this. Oh! Oh my oh, god! Oh, it's it's a war maul! Look at how light it is in his hand! Gods, I was strong! <laughs> come have a look. Yeah, he. Yeah. Davos has a plan uh, for this yeah. kind of stuff, man. <laughs> he needs a good smuggler. Fermented crab. What? Fermented crab. One bucket of this <laughs> triples a brothel's earnings for the week. A man thinks he's done. Five minutes later, he's back in the race. <laughs> I'd hurry to your favorite establishment, or you'll put a hole in that chain mail. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's so smooth. What? Dwarf! Oi! You can oh, arrive shit. to pay us more than Queen Sir. Oh! Huh? Oh! oh! Damn! Fuck. Ours is the fury. This is Gendry. <laughs> He'll do. <laughs> He'll do. Oh, oh, I love yes! It. I'm mad for Tyrion. She am killed. For this. What? Oh, another one? Damn. This is Prince cool. Gendry, Your Grace. <laughs> I'm Robert Baratheon's son. <laughs> <laughs> He was meant to keep that to himself. <laughs> Our fathers trusted each other. Oh! Why shouldn't we? Oh, I love that. Shit, yeah. You're a lot leaner. You're a lot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> you got fat. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yes! Yeah, nobody mind me. <laughs> All I've ever done is live to a ripe old age. <laughs> I hope they're best friends forever. I hope so too. At least you won't have to deal with the king in the north anymore. <laughs> I've grown used to him. Oh, no. damn, baby. Yes, sir. I wish you could fortune in the wars to come, your grace. Guess how many windows are in the great sept of Baylor? None. <laughs> Two thousand. True. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> what does annulment mean? It's when a man sets aside his lawful wife. Rhaegar? Maynard says here that he issued an annulment for Prince Rhaegar and remarried him to someone else at the same time. Oh my gosh. In a secret ceremony in Dawn. Oh, Is that a common the thing in the South? These maesters. A damn it, Sam! Inside the mattress. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Aaron, you got all those holes in your mattress, why? Same yeah. Stuff. Oh, it's the message that. Uh, Cersei forced her to write. Yeah, he knew. He was waiting. Fuck yeah. He's setting her up. And you need to convince the one with the dragons or the one who fucks her brother. <laughs> <laughs> I In love how he did it. Big woman. Damn. Don't trust him. Don't trust any of them. Yeah. <sighs> the auras. They fought together. Yeah. Gets the greater voice. I hardly recognized you. This is your moment. They won't give me anything to drink down here. Oh shit, Mormont. I haven't been feeling like myself. How do they know him? You're a fucking Mormont. The Lord Commander Mormont. Like the last Lord Commander. We're all on the same side. We're, the We're all breathing. <laughs> They're the fucking A-team. They are the A-team. I, I wrote down like we have like an Avenger team here. Are these guys all joining in? There's seven of them going beyond the wall, right? Yeah. Like that classic, like the Seven or the Magnificent Seven or Seven Samurai. Dude! Oh my gosh, yes! Dude, that shot, yes! <laughs> Three, four, five, six. John's in the middle. Holy shit. Can you use this hammer? They should be wearing hats, man. Look at this. Uh, Dang on it. I love it. Yeah. Love it. That was amazing. Who's... 
Something's gonna happen. Something bad I feel is gonna happen with seven like let's, let's seven stop. important oh, characters. Yeah. You couldn't have picked a better team. Like seven guys. Well, I kept on yeah. like as it kept going. I'm like, oh man, we have John and Gendry and Sir Mormont, like all yeah. like going together. And then I was like, oh wait, he's Tormund. They're gonna have Tormund there too. Sweet. And they pulled in those guys. Like, oh shit, we're gonna have the and Hound then with them too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Thoros of Mir and the Hound. Yeah. Yeah. I think our Sandor I think that's our poll right there is who's gonna make it back or who's gonna die. Because I feel like they're not all gonna make it back. You know, I feel like it's impossible I... for all of those seven to make it back. Yeah, no. Someone has to die. Poll for this week, because I mean, there's a lot of awesome stuff in this episode, mm-hmm. a lot, but that's, yeah, that's perfect. That's and we only have two episodes left, so who do you think of the seven Rough Riders going out beyond the wall? Yeah, you got John, who doesn't make a way, Gendry, way back. Jora, Tormund, Hound, Beric, and Thor. Seven can go out, but seven can come back. It could. It's true. But one of them could be dead. Or one of them could one die. Them, could one of them be the dead person? That's they what they back? bring back. Maybe the... Jora and fucking Danny sees him. Oh, that'd be fucked. Man, he just got cured. I know. Nah, I, it can't be Jora. He's got a pretty complete arc. Still I mean, like, I, yeah. I don't even know if it's Beric short Ondarian, on the end. I don't even know if Beric on could come back as a white. He's come back so many times under the Red God. That's one thing. If 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 one of them dies, couldn't uh, Thoris just bring him back? Hopefully. I could well, see Beric dying and not coming back this time because what if of the Thoros, magic. What if Thoros dies and then Beric can't come back? And then he can't come back? That's true, too. It can't be Gendry. We just got him back. Yeah. Or I think you gotta keep Gendry. can't be Jon. Uh, hopefully not. It could be Tormon. I think Tormon's likely. Personally. Tormon and the Hound are probably top of my list. I'd hate for the Hound to die now. The Hound dies. They bring him back. And then he fights the mountain. And then he fights the undead mountain. <laughs> undead Sandor undead. Clegane versus <laughs> undead Gregor Clegane. <laughs> undead Bro Ball. <laughs> yeah, Clegane Ball. <laughs> could that be a thing? I don't want, oh I don't want him to gosh. die, but that would be fucking sick. How could they contain him if he was a white? He's bigger than all of them. They just gotta chain him and hold him with fire, I guess. He's already afraid of fire. Already, if he became yeah, a white, yeah, then he'd be... True. He'd, 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 <laughs> Okay. That they, would, they would at least recognize him rather than just saying, oh, this is a guy in makeup or something like that. Yeah. Okay, you know, so... Jamie and Cersei would recognize the Hound. Yeah. That's a good point. I feel like it will be one of them that they bring... I mean, it's gotta be, I it's think. Possible. I don't know if they think it was makeup. They don't have yeah. any frame of reference for someone well, making something like that. No, yeah. but just any any conceivable reason that Cersei could use to like, oh, that's not real. You're just trying to pull one I, over on me. I, honestly, I, let's finish a poll first. I, like, well, you can go to the poll, patreon.com slash blindwave. You can uh, click multiple ones you think that are going to die. And then from then, we'll be able to see how people think yeah. mostly will die. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be yeah. heavy. Like, here's the ones yeah. that are probably going to die, and here's the ones who will uh, For me, die. it's Beric, Thoros, those two. You think one of those two? Yeah. Or both? So that's why I want to say multiple, because, yeah. like, you can't three of them die. Sure. You don't know. I'll pick those two. If I was voting, I would pick those two, I think. What about you, Shane? Yeah, Beric and the other guy. I mean, yeah. uh, a part of me kind of thought, um, oh fuck, Tormund, but he's now gonna are we saying who? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a complete story yet. <laughs> and I know the show doesn't care sometimes, but I think yeah. as it becomes more of a TV show and less of a book, I think that's more true. true. But you gotta remember too, we only have seven, nine more episodes left. Yeah, how can they wrap this eight, shit up in eight, nine episodes? Eight more episodes what? left. I mean, eight hours, and the last two episodes are gonna be multiple hours. What so. I want to say, I think might happen. Which would be kind of cool. Is like Beric somehow just dies. Yeah. He's like he's dead, dead. He can't bring him back. But the Hound dies, but Thoros raises him back. Up. I was gonna say that. That would be cool. I think that would be the thing. And then Tormund, I think, may die. I wonder if the Night King's influence or presence would have anything to do with resurrecting. Maybe. Them. Um, did you give your answers then? Yeah. Calvin, same. <laughs> no, I, I was. Agree with me. I was. Yeah. The Hound, like Thoros brings the Hound back. Yeah. But Beric. Yeah, because like, didn't dies. didn't Beric say like. One time to Thoros, like next time I die, don't bring me back because there's yeah. a little piece of me that, that was like, I lose. That was time. John. John said next if I die, don't bring me back. Okay. Barrett just said each time I die, a I lose a little of bit of me. Yeah. See, yeah. I think it would be sure, so right? cool to yeah. have the Hound who's been brought back using that flaming sword when he's afraid of fire. He's like Batman. And then he goes and kills his brother with a f- flaming fire sword. If Barrett does die, I want the flaming sword to be the Hound. Like the no, I want, I, no. I want him to use it before he dies. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, he I mean, has he, to. Like, that's the perfect weapon against the whites. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's going, right? 
Well, he's going because the Lord wants him there, is what he says. And he he if think. Melisandre's right about the Lord of Light having his... He's also a recognizable yeah. face. Well, what I, was, what I was saying is, like, if Melisandre's right about John, oh. then it would make sense that Beric would need to protect John. Yeah. I don't think you need a recognizable face to prove that there's dead zombie guys coming back. I don't, I don't think so. Take, it would it. help. I mean, in the you book, have the eyes. And the you used to in the, dead zombie guys. Uh, yeah. Look at that. In the dead book, they guy. tried like, uh, like earlier. Not in the book. In the books, early in the books, they uh, the black the Night's Watch tried to bring like a severed hand that was still moving in a jar down to King's Landing. By the time they got there, it was all rotted away. But, of, so they tried this before. Because of the heat, nice they they uh, actually touched that in the uh, in the show in the first season. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Jor Mormont sent down the hand that... Did he? that uh, Maybe that's what I'm thinking of then. That I ghost happened, ripped though. off the yeah the dead guy. Um, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think that they'll... If the, there's a little zombie walking, they'll believe him, right? I mean, yeah. even Cersei has to... I mean, first of all, she has precedent of dead people returning to life. The mountain yeah. is an undead monster. Yeah. You know? What, I mean, if she thinks that there's going to be an army of these... Dude, wouldn't that be cool watching that guy fight off, like, whites? Yeah. The giant... So, now, is that... Like the, and then the giant comes out and kills them. Is that going to be her excuse for why she doesn't believe it? It's like, oh, I have an undead guy right here. He's fine. I think I mean, it'll be you guys just that. did it, too. Yeah, why does she need an ex- Why? <sighs> she's I, I, I incredibly could, distrustful of any everybody. I can imagine we she's... We can't expect her to believe this on the first go. I mean, you bring an undead zombie guy down, I think it's... Say, say there's, say there's it's okay. 100,000 of them. Yeah, there's 100,000 of these, or yeah. more of it is, this. It's undeniable right here. proof. It is. I can see her using but the it's situation. it's just one. Yeah, I know, but I, I don't think it's unbelievable to think that now that there's one, there could be more. I mean, that's what we're... I mean, I'm proving what I'm saying by showing you the zombie. So and what, if are you just going to discount everything I say now? And if Danny is, like, wanting an armistice, yeah. if, even yeah. if she has an advantage. That yeah. should... That should like Proof she's winning too, yeah. And like she, she can't can win push and keep pushing and do more damage. Now she wants to stop to fight this. I could see Cersei agreeing to the meet, seeing all that, and then trying to backstab them then, and then deal with it later. I mean, if she just orders the mountain to kill everyone, and let's say Sandor didn't die, he's still fucking there. He protects him. He gets out there and fights his brother. God damn, I want that to happen so bad. But you, you, I, I could see her doing the backstabbing thing and agreeing to the fact that this is a threat. She, I mean, Cersei is terrible, she's evil, but she's not dumb, and she is a survivor. And yeah. I think that she's incredibly intelligent. I think that she'll... Un, if they do this, which I'm kind of surprised they're doing this, if they uni- unite everybody, or at least try to, before yeah. the dead get here, I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought the dead were going to get here and everybody would still be in shambles. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, that. I just, I, I don't trust Cersei's reasoning from her treatment of, of Tyrion and the trial and everything like that. Yeah, but she had no proof either way. She so, was a grieving I mean, mother. She, and she's a, yeah, I mean, like... I mean, Tywin when, knew that yeah, Tyrion didn't do it. Yeah, but when confronted with evidence with Olena and with the reasoning of what she went through, it's, I mean, she didn't, like, say she was wrong, but she didn't push the issue again either, you know? I think that she can be reasoned with even though it's incredibly incredibly difficult and someone yeah. like Jamie can do it yeah you know um but maybe maybe she'll just deny it and use the opportunity to her advantage which I mean that's what, what, yeah. what the fucking it's, it's, what, when she said like what, like what father would do she's talking about the Red Wedding mm-hmm. yeah it, it's weird to imagine a situation where there's an armistice and we have because I, I thought one of some major players were going to die on one of those sides before the, the army came mm-hmm but if they just teamed up together, that'd be a crazy thing Even to Even if they teamed up together, they might not have a shot. I mean, the only shot they have is with dragons. Yeah. Everyone, every mem- man you bring will die and be resurrected and be on the other team. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What the hell you do against that? Like, you yeah. gotta do the dragon glass, you gotta arm people. Yeah, I mean, we saw that at Hardhome where, like, they were all fighting and trying to fight back, but eventually he just rose everyone up. Yeah. And now you just got a bigger army you gotta fight. Yeah. Minus one White Walker. Mm-hmm. It's a big army. Good job, John. They're moving slow, but that's a big army of the dead. Yeah, it is. I mean, Danny has a hundred thousand, you know, uh, Dothraki, but I mean, they, they have, have to eat more than that. <laughs> yeah, they do, right? The army of the dead doesn't. Yeah, and they don't have to sleep. Yeah. Can they walk under the water? Yeah, and they can't do anything. Are they like, 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 like Pirates of the, the Caribbean? Yeah, <laughs> they can just like walk underneath. <laughs> that was cool. I forgot about that. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Man. 
Oh no, Genji's back, which is cool. His, I, I enjoyed his. Yeah, I enjoyed his that. Reveal. And I, I love that he was like, I thought you'd still be ro- rowing, because that's been the whole joke. Yeah, like, the whole joke. All the fans talking about yeah. like, now they're rowing still. You know, there's a lot of fan service in these later seasons. I don't care. Some I don't. Some either. people would say fan service is a bad thing. I'm a fan, and I'm being serviced. Yeah. yeah. You know, I like being serviced. Like, I, I prefer this kind of servicing as to yeah. the, like, five straight minutes of just yeah. full frontal nudity. Like, the, the seven... they had to do in the first two seasons. The seven guys at the mm-hmm. end is like a dream team that you would see in, like, someone's, like, like theory about something's going to happen. <laughs> Not that it actually would happen, you know, yeah. to me. Like, yeah. what's what's the movie with all the action heroes that uh, Stallone leads in? Expendables. 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 Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like Expendables. Kind of like Expendables. Yeah. Yeah. No, I loved I loved Genji showing up. I loved how smooth like Davos was with like the smuggling, the smuggling aspect of everything until yeah. Tyrion showed up and he's like, yeah. oh, no, no, from the crab. Yeah, <laughs> like he, he covered up the hammer real quick and stuff, Ooh, and like here's mail. it's like from minute crab, and it all worked, and yeah. they were yeah. they were gonna leave, you know. Yeah, it is You're bad just, timing twice yeah. in a row. I wish we got to see that conversation with Jamie and Tyrion. It was so, such a good tense little thing. Yeah, you? you felt a lot of emotion between both of them there. Yeah, right? yeah. Jamie did a really good job because you can tell the actor. Or the character is restraining himself so yeah. much, you know? He's so frustrated. Like there's so much pain in his face, but he's trying to save face in front of someone he doesn't even care about anymore. Yeah. But he does, you know? I mean, there's so much there. He has to have a little bit more for him now that he doesn't believe he killed his son yeah. and killed his father. And he yeah. was trying to justify killing his father. And you could tell Jamie's like, yeah, but you killed Dad. You know? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I get it, but... After I saved you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I, I that I mean the entire episode I felt like had amazing acting. You, Amelia Clark did really well too with with mm. her lines like when John was trying to leave. But she yeah. looked like she was about to cry when she was bit. sitting at the yeah. the table there. Do, so does she is she does she believe or is she just willing to put more faith in the John at this point or what? Because like it seemed like she was like you know George leaving all this stuff. Like does George believe in these White Walkers? You know like. Before it seemed like she was just kind of like, well, I'll be there for you, but I don't really think. I think true. after the the cave, she's believed a lot more. Yeah, yeah. And seeing that John is a trustworthy person, and you know, her dragons trust him, and that's that's a big one too. Yeah, like, that was mm-hmm. crazy. No I other person it. save Tyrion even got close to. And them. that wasn't Drogon. Drogon is far more wild than the other two. Yes, I mean he's named for Cal Drogo. Yes, and John. Booped his nose. <laughs> he booped his nose. Boop, boop. He booped it. Boop, boop, <laughs> I hate it when. I loved it. That, was, that was such a cool, moment. Actually, That's a cool awesome boop. moment. I got emotional. Yeah. 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 That's something that. See, the cool thing is, and bad thing is, is that book readers have been waiting for th- this shit for twenty years. Yeah. And now they're seeing it on television first, you know, and it's so amazing, and it's done so well. It's got a huge fucking budget. Oh, I love it. Mm. Speaking of John with the dragon and stuff, we also had the annulment talk. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the annulment. I wish they would would have continued reading more of that. I know. I'm sure he'll have like a just a hint. They're talking about they're they're talking about a Rhaegar, right? Yeah. Yeah, Rhaegar is called Raggy? Rag Ragger. Ragger. Yeah. Like so he annulled his marriage before and then remarried in Dorne. Yeah. Yeah. So do people in Dorne know this at all or? Um he said he did it in secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty brilliant to do it with a meister. 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 Yeah. It's built, brilliant to do it with them because they do the faith and they do law, you know? Yeah. They have, they have the seven-pointed star. They have all the different things. They have the power to do that. Mm-hmm. You have one person do it. I mean, and there's precedent for annulment in our history Yeah. Uh, when it comes to kings. When that would happen, not only would you divorce your wife, but any children you had with them would then become illegitimate. So That'd that would be terrible to live your whole which, life. Which that would mean that since he died shortly after, that John is his only legitimate heir. Then, mm-hmm. well, John would be Rhaegar's heir. Rhaegar would be the Mad King's heir. Daenerys, if we're going straight, women cannot hold over men. Then John well, would even have even still, Rhaegar claim. was an older sibling yeah. to Daenerys. Yeah, yeah. you're right. So it, it wouldn't even pass to her. Yeah. Even still. Yeah. That's true. So John would have the more legitimate claim, which to me just solidifies the need for a Targaryen wedding. Yes. Because, I mean, that's what they did. I know a lot of people are, like, weirded out or freaked out. Like, why are you guys shipping the aunt and the nephew? I mean, like, I mean, half these characters we see here are married to their cousins. Yeah. yeah. Well, know? and you have a brother yeah. and sister that are having another baby. Yeah. 
I mean, Steph, I don't yeah. know. the North is a big place, yeah. but there's only so many royal families out there. That's true. I mean, and the Targaryens for generations interbred. Yeah. yeah. Interbred. Intermarried. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and interbred. Interbred. I mean, uh, Mad King was, was he married to his sister? I can't remember. Yeah, oh! I, I, I thought he did, didn't he? I, yeah, I, I, I can't remember. I know I a think very he, recent Targaryen had. I think he married his younger sister. Okay, this, I'm sorry, this episode was awesome all the way through. And we, we need to come back to the annulment thing, mm -hmm. just because that's a huge, huge, huge moment that changes. John is not a bastard. No, no. he's yeah. not. He's not Eddard's bastard, he's not Rhaegar's bastard. He's legitimate. He's a legitimate bastard. John Targaryen. <laughs> but in all of this episode, which was fucking awesome all the way through, I have a slight disappointment that they didn't bring up the fact at all that uh, Tarly... Right? What's his first name? Randall. Randall, Randall, Randall my favorite Tarly. character. My favorite character. Randall Tarly was a Targaryen loyalist. Yeah. Like whenever Robert's rebellion happened, he refused to to you know legitimize the rebellion. He fought Robert in the field, and he was captured because he was loyal to the Targaryen. And then he was forced after Robert won to bend the knee. To bend the knee, yeah. So I kind of feel like I understand him like being like, oh, I serve another one now, and I'm not going to give up that one, you know. He just I wish there the was some acknowledgement of the fact that, like, he so, suffered for the Targaryen king. So he know? was for the Targaryens. Yeah. Fought against Robert. Mm hmm Eventually bended the knee for Robert. After the, they won, yeah. Now he's with Cersei and them, but he won't bend the knee to go back to the Targaryens. That well, he was he's before. a bannerman of the, of the Tyrell, so he would generally go anywhere the Tyrells would go. The Tyrell went with Targaryens, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So you figured he would have... Yeah, you're agreed. right. Like, I feel, I feel like if that's all of his background and everything... There was oh, a, I'm sorry. The the Tyrells became leaders of the Reach after the w Robert's Rebellion. They were put at the head of the Reach because I think another family was there and they were destroyed or something. Wasn't Is that, right? that? Wasn't that? Yeah, it was the second richest family. That was the yeah. well. The it's still, he's right? for, he's for Tyrells, right? Yeah. Well, he's a, yeah, he's a bannerman of them. And the Tyrells were for the Targaryens, and yeah. he was for the Targaryens before Robert. Yeah. So he bent the knee for Robert, but he wouldn't bend the knee to go back with Targaryens. Seems yeah. kind of weird. That's unless, what I'm saying. Unless if, he would have acknowledged like the Dothraki thing, which yeah. I don't feel like he really acknowledged. Like he said, foreigners. Well, that, that foreigner, was his. Though. Yeah, that was a big thing for him. Like she, she was born in Westeros, yeah. but she hasn't spent her life here. She was born and, and taken as an infant. Yeah, Easters. but her family name. I mean, the Targaryen dynasty lasted for three hundred years. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, but he still sees her as a foreigner, bringing her foreign. Yeah. You know, the barbarians. And, the Andals were foreigners at one point too. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of a weird thing that I just wish they would have acknowledged his allegiance to the Targaryens. It, it, yeah. it just felt as a way to argue. That. Yeah, and then it, it felt empty. And then it just fucking that. burned. Yeah, him, burned, yeah, fucking dick on. Burn dick. Like even Tyrion could have said something because I'm sure he probably knew some of that history. Or yeah, something, but right? he can only say so much in front of everybody. It was a public thing. If yeah. they were behind closed doors, maybe the, the conversation would have been. Yeah, different. he's had bigger discussions with her behind yeah. closed doors in the council chamber type thing. What do you guys think about the choice she gives? Bend oh, the knee or die? Yeah. I mean... Not a, not a good choice. It's not ideal. Is it necessary? <sighs> I mean, she could have just went through and just killed them all during the battle she instead said of capturing that, anybody to begin with. She said that if she, gave, if she gave them the option to go into chains, everybody would pick that option. Yeah. She doesn't want to have people in chains. She's the breaker of chains. It's true. I guess, I guess that does make sense to execute prisoners taken rather yeah. than... Jail them and think of the mess. I mean, the the Citadel already had the information. Think of the message that sends to everybody. Yeah, like you bend the knee or you die. And she's not she's not fooling around. But she hasn't roasted any homes. She hasn't made or you know she has made orphans. But right, she's that's not her intention. You know, yeah, like she attacked on a field of battle mm -hmm. against a standing army. Mm -hmm. I think I'd feel differently about it if they had some kind of. Uh, I guess a m modern non-barbaric way of execution it goes pretty quick. Beheading or or a, yeah, I mean, like burning to death is terrible, but burning to death by dragon fire is it was fast. nearly instant. Yeah. Like the, the last episode when they I were think three the army, seconds like, of burning to death to would be too ashes, long for me. You know, like it has to be intense heat to just turn to ashes. Like you have to be dead. In, like they didn't do that. Three like seconds. they just but don't do. they say that when you get yeah, your head do. cut off, like you can still kind of see eyes move and stuff, and they wonder like. How conscious are you that you're until you know you don't have theorized? Any like I've looked this up actually like yeah. last year. Like it's theorized maybe up to ten seconds or yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. That'd be crazy. You can look and see your body. Yeah, like, and, and they've even like 
there's reports of like uh of like you know like an agreed upon like try to say something yeah so and then like they'll cut someone's head off they'll look at it and like it looks like they're trying to say something yeah they, they, can't, they have no lungs they have no, they have no, no lungs, lungs. yeah yeah try to say something but i mean you still have oxygen in your brain and you still have blood pumping you're not not pumping but blood in there as it's leaking out you're still going to be conscious up to 10 seconds or three seconds of dragon fire and it, uh, it had to have been less than three seconds because three seconds they were ash well, hey, I mean, it's like, it's like, like if you squad. heated somebody up that much without magic, they would explode because their internal yeah. temperature, the, the moisture in their body would vaporize instantly. To be fair, though, and this is a stupid observation mm -hmm. or statement, but if I had to pick away, dragon fire's pretty badass. Yeah. Like, I was burned by a fucking dragon. You know? True. Like, Rob got stabbed 30 times and shot and they took his head and they put it on his wolf and they prayed it around on a horse. They can't do that shit in a match. No. They can pick it up and try to do something. They can't. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Oh, but with uh, with Daenerys, like, she could have just pushed through and killed everybody. At least yeah. she gave a choice that, hey, I could have just killed you. You got an option that yeah. you can bend the knee and join me or I'll just kill you like I was And Jamie, I mean, think of the message she sent. Jamie recognized it. He, She can come in at any time and end the war. Yeah. He told Cersei that. He could, she could do that with one dragon. Yeah. She's got yeah, two I, more. I love that, like, there's two more. Yeah. Things. That was just one. Yeah. I love how she didn't take all three to the battle. Yeah. She was making a statement with one. What would you think of the, the Meister's uh, idea that this is the Dragon Queen tricking us? It's, a, it's not a... It's, he, he's not wrong, but yeah. also he shouldn't be thinking politically. They I have mean, to, it, though. Yeah. It, is, it, it coming from Winterfell, though, like... I mean, do they know that John went down south, whatever? To could it be a fake? Visit? Yeah, but they could just think that it's forged. Yeah. I mean, the I, only I thing I would say, it. if I were at that table, I'd be like, okay, if she were trying to trick us, don't you think that she would have something a little more believable? Right. Why mm -hmm. would she make up something so outlandish that we dismiss it immediately? I mean, it is part of legend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, as far as unbelievable things go, it's more believable than just something she made up. Yeah. But still, they're very... Skeptical men. Yeah. I mean, but that's their job to be. Uh, it's not unreasonable for them to think that way because no. they're being confronted with pure unbridled magic. You yeah. Know? yeah, it's something that they don't. You know, they, 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 there's a study of magic at the Citadel, and you, I think it's like a Valyrian steel ring or something that you get when you study it. Because uh, uh, the first Meister at uh, Winterfell had it. Yeah, uh, Lewin. Where yeah, Meister Lewin. White Walker. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's, <laughs> like, like, it's more of like a Valerian study thing. Knuckles. It's not necessarily, they don't think it's real, you know? They just think right. that it's legend. But, I mean, I just wish Sam, he, he's gotten more confident, certainly, throughout the season, but... He just keeps I leaving mean, wherever like, he's at. Like, he's killed a White Walker. Gilly yeah. saw him do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, they was coming for this baby. Yeah. I wonder where he's going to go and what he's going to do. Is he going to go to Winterfell or... Like, what's, what's his plan taking these books and leaving? And did he take the book that Gilly was reading? I, he, I, I can't imagine they seed that and then not use it, but they could just seed it and say, hey, fans, if things had worked out, John could have been king. Too bad he died to the White Walkers. Out. <laughs> that could be a thing, too. Yeah. I hope not. That's going to piss off a lot of people. They could do that. They could do that. That's, that's a way of them... Like, not giving the fans what they want by giving the fans something else that they want. It's, it's saying, like, here was the potential ending, and we didn't yeah. go that way. But. What was up with Jorah? Like, whenever they were the thing, like, you think we'd have better farewells, and they held hands. Like, I felt like there was more of maybe a romantic moment there, but then Jorah looked over at John, and I felt like he went with yeah. the uh, take care of Queen and leave. Was that to, like... I, Jorah is so used to her being into other dudes. <laughs> yeah. I think that he's just... I don't think that he's going to keep trying to do this thing where it's like, oh, remember, Khaleesi, I love... You know, I think he's done with it. He mm. just cares about... He's got his second chance. He's going to do whatever he can for Daenerys. And that includes going beyond the wall. He did it without question. Yeah. I mean, he, he's the one who threw it... It wasn't like someone asked him to, either. Yeah. He's the one I'll go. Like, he escaped certain death and went into certain death. Mm -hmm. Pretty so, much, yeah. I just wondered if Jorah was, like, leaving it open for John. He's like, I John's he king of the north. Yeah. This is a better option for her than me, you know? Because they yeah. showed that shot of them clasping hands, and then you saw John, like, in the background, mm -hmm. move out from behind Daenerys. Mm -hmm. It could be and a conversation. he looked over, and he changed his, his, yeah. his interaction. I mean, they're both together. They're part of the, the seven. 
they could have a conversation about it. I far more want them to, I want him to look at the Valyrian sword at John's waist and being like, that's my father's sword. I want a scene like that. I want John to offer it back to the son of Jor Mormont, really and I want him to refuse. Really recognize it with the wolf instead of the... I think he would. Valyrian steel, I mean, passed down family, family, family. They, they'd recognize the blade. Yeah. He actually carried it for a long time. Yeah. And then whenever he was exiled, he left it there because he wasn't worthy. Hmm. He had enough sense to leave the sword, though. Yeah. So I, I, I would definitely want a scene like that. That would be awesome. Yes, Absolutely. I've said it before, this is the season of reunions, but this is also the season of shit I didn't know I wanted, and now I got it, I'm never letting it go. Like, yeah. Gendry and Jon Snow, BFFs. Holy shit, I love the way Gendry just, alright, I'll, I'll keep my name quiet, I'll do all that, and then, I'm Gendry, son of Robert Baratheon. Can we be best friends? <laughs> <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> I, I love the, the, the little homages to, you know, you got fat, and then that. <laughs> they start laughing. They did yeah. the same thing. Like you're a little leaner. Uh, you're a little shorter. And they kind of had that half smile. Yeah. Even though John's not Edward's bastard. No, he's but not. But they think it. And I love. I love that they think I it. Love that. And he was raised by him though. Yeah, yeah that's true. He's he's as much uh, Robert's son. Yeah. As he was, um, Rhaegar's. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man, that was so good. He has a warhammer. Um, Granted, it doesn't look the best, I don't think. When I saw it, I'm like, yeah, it's a Warhammer, I don't care. I thought it looked yeah. cool. Yeah? Yeah. It looked like he just made it. Yeah, There's yeah. an officially licensed Warhammer of Robert Baratheon that I really like. That one, to me, at least looked a little more rubbery. I don't know. But it was cool. I like it. It was cool. Yeah. It's um, like black iron. But the idea is so much better than what I thought the hammer looked like. like I just The fact that he has one. Like, I always love the big. illusion that Robert used a hammer and so is Gendry because he's a smith. But he literally found out Robert Baratheon, first of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Realm, was his dad. And then he's started like, hearing shit. I don't know much about swords, but I swung a hammer, yeah. okay? He's like, he <laughs> used a hammer, I'll use a hammer. Well, what's Baratheon colors? Shit, I'll get a yellow shirt. That's what he did. Yeah, <laughs> yellow shirt yeah. and black pants. Yeah. I mean, he was a blacksmith. Blacksmiths use hammers all the time. Yeah, of course. So that's kind of correlated. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Well, like, before this episode, I've always kind of liked the way they did that. Like, mm -hmm. they both well, use hammers. Back when uh, back when he was fighting, go heading north with Arya and uh, Yorin, yeah. like, he had a hammer there with him that he used to, to fight off some of the... <laughs> he, the he also had men. a short sword. He had his bull's head, too. We haven't seen that come Yeah, back. we haven't had the... But, I mean... Make some antlers It'd be fun. Yeah, I, I wonder if he'll reforge it. I hope antlers. he's got it in that bag that he took. He needs like, I've get been some, getting ready. Get some fucking dragon glass and make antlers out of them. And that's <laughs> that shit, man. That'd be great. <laughs> um, uh, that scene with Varys and Tyrion in the throne room. Great. Funny. Loved it. Um, it's, yeah. They're uh, talking I, I, about Danny, yeah. Yeah, I agree with both of them, I think. To an extent. Danny has a hot head and a hot body. But, mm -hmm. you know, she needs someone to hold her back a little bit. Needs to cool off a little bit of snow. <laughs> I hope Varys does his responsibility because he agreed that if yeah. you think I'm being a bad queen, let me know instead of plotting against me. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm wondering if Davos's thing with Gendry is going to come back at all where he was like, he's like, my father used to say, I think Shane wrote down the quote too, is like, I'd rather be a coward for a minute than dead <laughs> for the rest of my life. Yep. Yep. Uh, I wonder if that's going to have anything coming back later on where, like, yeah. maybe Gendry's, like, a coward for a minute or something like that and then comes back, or I don't know. He's so much more confident. Yeah. He used to be really timid. I mean, mm -hmm. not, I mean he was always a strong He's also, lad, but he was always timid and always acted lowborn and saw, looked down upon himself for that. Mm -hmm. Once he realized, I'm like, I'm fucking Robert Baratheon's kid. I mean, he wouldn't even look Ned in the eye yeah. until Ned told him to. He was like, look at me, boy. Yeah. He took out these two guards. Yeah, he really does kind of look like the actor that plays <laughs> Robert Baratheon. Mark Addy, yeah. Like, in the eyes, you know? Like, yeah. in the face. I remember, like, when Ned's like, look at me, you know? Yeah. You're like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the siege is strong. We did miss the scene of Bronn and Tyrion reuniting. Yeah, I would have liked to see more there. Like, I, I like the way they like did that it, Like, that whole Tyrion in, in the dungeons under the Red Keep, I would have liked to have seen more there yeah. with, with Jaime and Bronn. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, it would have been good, though, to see, like, what did Bronn have to say, if anything, to Tyrion? Or was there was there another communication of, like, yeah. a bird or something else? Bronn is only with 
Jamie because of Tyrion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I would I would have liked to have seen Tyrion offer like what he, what he always said: no matter what anyone else pays you, I'll double it. Mm-hmm. I would have liked to have given him two castles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I like Bronn's statement to Jamie about like no one's killing you. No Dothraki, no dragon. Let's not your, me. Not yourself. You know? Yeah. yeah. Mode. yeah. Like, you, you owe me. Uh, I also wanted to... I, I point out a lot of... I think there's a lot of really cool acting in this, but maybe the best, because it, it has this tinge of realism, is Tyrion. Anytime he talks about his father and how he felt about him being a dwarf, and then in this episode especially, he's like, do you think I asked to be this way? Just felt so earnest. That it reminded it has me of to his... be the actor tapping into it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know? it has yeah. to be. I mean, it reminds me of the uh, the speech that he had on trial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. The, of that that anger and like, frustration. I, I wish of, I was the monster. I yeah. Am. yeah, yeah. I wish I was the monster you thought I. Am. I am on trial for being a dwarf. That was another time where he he really channeled. I think his his frustration. Yeah, and everything. I just really enjoyed it here because it was. That was like letting it out. This was trying to keep it in and not being yeah. able to. Um, so, the last big thing for me, not the last, but Littlefinger. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. he's playing Arya. He seems like he's playing Arya. I mean, we had that look when he was looking at Arya and kind of like sizing her up, and now I think that he wanted her to I hope- find that letter. And he said, Lady Stark thanks you for your service. Is he playing her against Sansa? Mm-hmm. I mean, he, yeah. He's he's definitely doing that, but I hope Arya takes it to Bran, not Sansa. I was gonna say I hope Arya sees through it. Yeah, he just underestimates this girl. Yeah, or, like she should be able to read him, yeah. right? Because she can. Yeah. Well, she, she can, read anybody. True, but she can also just go Google on Bran. Yeah. Hey, what's this? Oh, yes, yeah, shit. But that's her brother. Remember how pretty you were that night? She fucking Bran. She, <laughs> she probably shouldn't Google on her brother. She probably so, shouldn't. Know. That note is from when. So, uh, it's Sansa is forced to write a letter by Cersei saying that father is a traitor. What are the exact words? Like, father is a traitor. He's, uh, he, try- he conspired to take the throne from J- our King Joffrey. Uh, and it was urging Rob to swear, to, swear to Joffrey. Yeah. Come so, south yeah. and bend the knee. And, and I remember Rob or, Rob or Caitlin, they had a scene reading it. And it was like, this is Sansa's handwriting, but Cersei's words. Yeah. So Littlefinger is using that to show to Arya that Sansa betrayed Eddard. Yeah. I'm assuming is what this plan is. Or maybe... He's Arya, trying to create that wedge between them. Maybe Arya will confront Sansa, and Arya will be able to see that she's telling yeah. the truth. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I, this entire season, or even before the season started, I've been worried that they'll do this with Sansa... Because even, like, I think that she's... Arya's correct when she made the observation, like, you enjoy this. Yeah. You yeah. know, you want this. You want them to say that they should have chose you. I think that they're doing that to set us up to think it's going to happen. And then we get back to that that line of, you know, the pack survives. I think that this is going to be Littlefinger overestimating himself. Yeah, and coming against a United Stark base that has an assassin and a kid that can see everything. Yeah, <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. So he's trying to create that chaos, though. Yep. That's what he's doing. He's just I just wrote, spinning everybody else's wheels. Little finger, little finger. <laughs> I uh, a couple things. Uh, just a scene where John is saying, "Like I don't need your permission. I am a king." Yeah. That's a cool scene, and you could tell I, she really admired him there. Yeah, she, you could see her sit up a little straighter. Yeah, and it notice he said that until one of them, you know, bends the knee to the other, they'll keep calling them each other, "Your Grace" and "Your yeah. ki- King." You know, well, if they get married, they won't have to. Yeah, it's true. And also, a big thing uh, <laughs> is she uh, is uh, Cersei pregnant again? Yeah. Oh shit! That's what she says. My immediate thought was no. Oh, yeah, really? I, and she's using it to control Jamie. Jamie. She said, never betray me again. And my thing is like... I think she's worried have, about him trusting his brother like more than her. I, I just think that they're laying a lot of seeds of doubt in Jamie about Cersei. And then now he has something that ties them together. Again. Because you, know, you can tell, like, even the sex. He's like, uh, all right, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's not any passion anymore, you know? 
Like he's seeing this monster more and more clearly, but that monster has my kid, and yeah. all my other kids are dead. And what do I have left? You know, I'm, I'm in a losing war. My armor's all fucking muddy. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying he has a kid. Um, all, yeah, there's, there's also that macer, whatever his name is, leaving the room. Oh, and Jamie Kyber, Kyber. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Meister, Meister Kyber. He's the uh, Meister. Uh, he's the hand of the king, queen. He's the hand of the queen, but he's also, uh, uh, shoot, the new He's the master spider. of secrets. Yeah. yeah, he's... Master of whispers. Master of whispers. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So whenever he was talking, he could have just been saying, like, hey, they met. Yeah. Harriet's here. Uh, these guys got really hard dicks. What else? Uh, and they died. Yeah, and they died. It was yeah. longer than four hours. They ain't consult their meister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that's all my notes. You guys got anything else? No. Yeah? No. I'm going to jump into some Q&As real quick. Can you hear that open sure. Party? All right. Uh, Thomas said, what happened to Edmer after Arya killed the phrase? Edmer would be Catelyn's brother. Last mm-hmm. time Walder said he was back in prison, will he return? The only guy a couple episodes left in the whole s- no. thing. Probably not. Well, she killed all the phrase yeah. at the at the one feast, yeah. but she didn't go down to the dungeons and... Hmm. Turn free their yeah. prisoners. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. We'll probably won't hear it either. I would say. I don't know. But it's good that you're thinking about those kind of loose ends. That yeah, that's about. true. Um, Pierre said Uncle Benjamin and John back together. Hoping oh for this my reunion. gosh, that's. But I bet it won't last long. Uh, shut the fuck. Shit. What's his name? Pierre. Pierre, shut the fuck up. That's awesome, but why'd you have to ruin it? That could be, that could be good, though. I totally forgot about Benjen. Yeah, Benjen mm-hmm. meet back Me up too. What if Benjen was the example of the dead? He's Because he is. He's a half-half. He's half-half. Yeah. Half. Well, if, if... They could stab him, right? I don't and know. He could survive? He made, he made the whole talk, though, about not being able yeah, to go he, past he the wall. Yeah, he can't cross the wall. So but like, can he because Bran went past the wall with the mark of the Night's King? I don't know. I don't know what all that, that... I don't know how that all works. I don't know. Because you would think that maybe him being half and half would be a good way of getting them, yeah. getting it to work, you know? Well, I think that, rot. Oh, maybe that's how they find out that they can't cross the wall. Because they Benji try can't. to, and it, and it like destroys it or whatever. Yeah. But if they can't cross the wall, then you should be safer. So what's the problem? Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. What, like, I don't know how the magic of the of the magic of the wall works. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think Benjen, anybody does, but the Knights King. Yeah, because Benjen yeah, had which that, which is very worrisome. He had that thing about not being able to yeah. cross over. So I don't. Is is it because Bran crossed over and had that mark that there's some other reasoning now? Or I mean, the only do evidence they have, do that, they have to attack and break the wall in order to get past. The only evidence that Bran did something to the magic of the wall is that he did something to the magic of the tree. So it's possible. Maybe it's only at Castle Black. Maybe the wall. Maybe you know. Does it negate the entire wall's magic? Does the wall have magic? Maybe, I don't know. Can't they just swim around? Maybe each of the castles is enchanted. Yeah. And if you break one of them, then the others are still enchanted, but yeah. there's just that one gap. Maybe. Like like a Christmas... Sure. A string of Christmas lights. Yeah. Okay. Could be something like that. Uh, Seth wants to know, will John and Danny's relationship be damaged when Sam learns about his father and brother? I think... I don't know. Do you think that having another Targaryen family member would supersede... Having a contender for the Targaryen throne. Yeah. I mean, she is constantly talking about Rhaegar and asking people about Rhaegar and smiling when he's mentioned and yeah. loving the histories of the Dragon Knight. Like now, here's his son. You John know, is here's my as nephew. close to Rhaegar as he can get. Does she care yeah, more like about sitting. sitting on the throne than having a family? I don't know. I don't know. Either. I, I think she cares about protecting people and, and bringing peace. But I, honestly, I feel like it, with the way Targaryens are, with the way the show is, it's set in a medieval-like world, it might just bring them more together in terms of a marriage pact. Yeah, you know? yeah. The only thing is, is how the Lords of the, Lords of the North think, feel about it. They've declared Jon Snow the King of the North, and he's a Targaryen. Yeah, but they thought he was Eddard's son. True. They so know now he, Sansa, yeah. or Bran, which is actually... All right, mm-hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read the question again because you guys went a different direction. Yeah, sure. sorry. Go ahead. Seth said, "Will John and Danny's relationship be damaged when Sam learns about his father and brother?" Oh, wait, John and Danny. Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Could when John issues? finds when out Sam, that she burned when Sam, Sam finds out about his family being killed. Okay. Could that cause train on John and Danny because of his friend Sam's family being killed? 
I think it could, but uh, it could. But, but also, still... Sam wasn't especially close with him. Yeah, I mean, they didn't true. have the best relationship as far as a father son, but I mean, I'm sure he doesn't want them to die. No, no. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, one, because it is in war, even though they were burned by a dragon. But two, we have the examples of Davos doesn't seem to mind, even though he points it out a lot. Tyrion killed his sons. You know, I would think yeah. that they would be more upset with each other than with well, this son, right? He only had one, right? In the show, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. He had like, he had like nine sons or something like that. In the book, they all died. Yeah. Jeez. Well, no, some of them are still alive. He has a wife too. Yeah. Yeah. He just leaves her all the time. He's got all bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Or smuggle. Smuggle. I'll smuggle you in. Dale said, "Do you guys think the scroll Arya took was the one Sansa sent to Rob in season one, telling him Ned was a traitor?" Yeah, yeah. That's, yes. that's what I read. Dastardly Dale. It said Sansa, and it said throne or king or something. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. So they, saw, I just saw Sansa, the king, and yeah. stuff like that, and then it was signed by Sansa. That's the only thing Sansa has sent, right? For a long time, yeah. yeah. Other than to the Knights of the Vale for help, mm-hmm. but that wasn't. That wasn't on uh, Winterfell Stationery. Yeah. Well, Stationery. They just draw their shit. But, uh, it was talking about treason and yeah. father. No, that, that's so. what it had to have yeah. been about. Ooh. Agent 79 said, What kind of red magic could Thoros be capable of north of the Wall? He has king's blood in his touring company. It's true. That is true. Um, Ooh. Does oh, yeah. he have... He has two, two, some blood. He has two members of king's blood, right? Like how's, how's that? How's Gindry. that work? He has yeah. Gendry. Yeah. Gendry was used to. Does John work since he's yep. so? Like both of them would be King's blood, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what Melisandre wanted to do. She wanted to bang John, get his King's blood. Make well, shadow babies. She wanted King something. Yeah. Didn't she want to kill Gendry, get King's blood? Yeah. Make shadow babies. She she got it from leeches. That's yeah. what they burnt. That ended the War of the Five Kings, pretty much. But then also later she was like, with more blood, I could do more mm-hmm. magic. Yeah. And then that's um. When my thing is, do you think... Is he capable of more magic now that he's in a place of magic? Or is his magic and that power subdued because of the influence of the Night's King, the Great Other, all that stuff? Yeah. Right. I don't know. I don't know either. Like, cool. I said, like I said, there's so much of the magic element that we just yeah. don't know about. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hemingway said... He, this kind of covers on what we were talking about before with the Sam question, but do you think Daenerys would give up her claim to the Iron Throne if she found out Jon was Rhaegar's true-born son? Mm. I think it would make it easier for him to, for her to marry him. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think Jon would ask for it. No, no, no. I mean, I mean he we, never... have, we have Aemon of the Night's Watch who gave up his claim and went to the Night the Night's Watch. And his... Yeah, he was the older brother, yeah, he was too. the older brother. To uh, the Mad King's son, right? I mean, John could deny that heritage, or he could just not have his claim, or they get married and they're happy forever, and that's how the show ends. Yeah, I mean, John Happiness. doesn't want to be John doesn't want to be king anyway. No, he, he never asked to be king of the so, North. I mean, he no. could he just be like, if he believes in Daenerys, then he could just be like, "You be queen, take this. I don't want it." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that speech that he had. You know, I came to you. Not knowing you, you were a stranger and everything, and I, I put my trust in you. I like that. Because, like, yeah. all, of, all of her followers and everything yeah. trust her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Snickerdoodle said, is it just me, or was this entire episode beat-off worthy with all the fan service? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. And uh, Ham, Ham says, Gendry, the rowing joke. Ah, I thought of you guys. How cool is it? That he uses a war hammer like Robert, though. So more of the fans. It's the best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it just the best thing ever. It's he picked up a hammer. That's Rob. You know, gods, I was strong. <laughs> Caved his chest plate in. <laughs> gods, I was strong. They don't tell you about the shit. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I love it so yeah, much. I like him using a hammer. I love that they tossed the rowing joke in yeah. there. I, 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 you know what I love? Gendry just has heard stories about the friendship of Eddard Stark and Robert Rathian. Yeah. He put so much faith in those two being bros that he got his own bro. Yeah. yeah. He was rewarded with bro. And it's not even the right bro. Yeah. It's just some guy. He's just I, trying to be bros love, so love hard. They're like like laughing and snickering with each other yeah. at the table. Yeah. I, I mean, Sam's always John's best friend, but he's gone, man. He's got a new best friend. He's coming uh, back, though. I know. Carol said, you guys are awesome. Thank Why you. do you think Tywin did not attack Highgarden when the mines ran dry? I'm curious. 
uh, when Castle Rock ran dry. Uh, he, He's a diplomat as well. Yeah, he doesn't have the opportunity to attack something like that he while there's so much chaos yeah. happening in the He didn't want to start an all-out war. And remember, too, he doesn't tell anybody. People think target the... Well, the yeah, that's true. Just, if you want to look at it, they also were really trying to get a Tyrell to marry yeah. into them, yeah. which would then give them access to the money to that the they money were after anyway. Yeah, yeah so, you're right. I mean, they were going a more diplomatic approach to it rather than like, yeah. let's fight, take it, it's ours now. You and, know? you know, with the whole comment about Olenna would be able to control Marjorie, Marjorie could control Tommen. We've also had scenes of Tywin talking to Tommen, telling him what it is to be a good king, mm. to be pious, yeah. which is something that affects Tommen, has him create the Septon or the uh, the High Sparrow position, be so high, fucks everything up, yeah. you know? Well, and no other plans. that being said, that Cersei should have influenced her too because... She, all she tried to do was control mm-hmm. her kids, too, to do what she wanted them to do. Yeah. You know, Joffrey or Tommen. Isn't it weird that there's just no consequence at all to her just killing all of these people? I mean, I know people are afraid, but she kind of blew her load. Literally. How much more wildfire she have? There's caches all over the city. She yeah, but I thought that they spent, one. like, months, like, putting it all together. You won. Yeah? Huh. I, I they they, they spent months searching for them all, but yeah. he said, "There's more than we ever imagined." Mm-hmm. That one pyromancer that was making wildfire before the the Battle of Blackwater, that guy just loved his life. Love after that. Tyrion said that, that guy, that actor is the guy that has read all of the books on audio tape. Yeah, this? yeah. that's cool. The the uh, pyromancer. Like the older guy with the wildfire from season two before oh. the Battle of Blackwater. Yeah, um, the guy that was making it all. Mm-hmm. Darth Becca said, "Did I did Bran warg into a million ravens, or was I seeing things?" No, he no, controlled he, all yeah. the ravens. That's pretty sweet, wasn't it? More than one at a time, or just like the lead one. Yeah. So to <laughs> see what was no, going yeah, on, I think but he, no, there was multiple ones. Like you could see their their eyes like go white, and then they went back to black, mm-hmm. and you could see like yeah, it's just like as they were the taking off, their you know their eyes were flashing like yeah. that. So I think he was just. Going like to jumping all, yeah, yeah, jumping around him. Alrighty, this one's interesting. Uh, Paul said, "Is if John is Azor High, is this trip the whole reason Beric was resurrected?" Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Why the Lord of Light to would protect send him. him there would give the the Hound the vision, and they need to do this. Yeah, it makes sense if there is in fact a Lord of Light at all. There's got to be something. I mean, yeah. Beric doesn't come back from the dead for nothing. It could just be magic, and then their beliefs They're and influence attributing the magic, it to yeah. a, a deity. Jen said, I didn't know this was something I needed, the bromance that was promised. Yep. And then... <laughs> yes. Good. Love it. Yes. Love it so much. So Don't get me wrong. I think that the hammer could look a little better, but yeah. if I had the opportunity to get one, I don't want it. <laughs> you know, that thing's so cool. It looks so much... He seems to be doing pretty well swinging it. It looks like it'd yeah. be pretty heavy if it was made of steel. Yeah, yeah. it looked it looked too light, and yeah. it may just be because it's hollowed. Yeah, like Roberts head. was a little more thinner. And well, it was had, a, it was know? a steel haft. Yeah, whereas he's using an actual wood haft, yeah. which kind of bothers me. Like I would like, prefer a steel haft on that big yeah. of a warhammer. I mean, it's a two handed axe. He uses it pretty well. Hammer. I was talking about hammer, yeah. but uh. But he. Uh, That's a funny sound. I just thought that when he'd come back, he would be he would be a, a smith and he would learn how to do something with dragon glass or Valyrian steel or something. I didn't. I mean, know maybe that he'd come back as Robert Baratheon 2.0. Maybe yeah. he has learned more smithing stuff. Maybe he can do Valyrian steel. He's now. the only Baratheon left. Like, yeah. if this war ends and Danny and John are on the or you know sit at the Iron Throne together or something, all of his other bastards were killed. Like, he is the Baratheon heir, in a way, and a king can legitimize you. So. Yeah. Ooh, oh, maybe... Uh, wait, it... oh, I, in my head. Everybody dies, except Gendry. He has the greatest claim to the throne because of his Robert Baratheon. Gendry sits the Iron Throne at the end of the series. That would be cool. <laughs> Do you think uh, Daenerys will feel any kind of animosity towards Gendry? Your father tried to assassinate me and stuff? No more than John animosity <coughs> to her father. Yeah. I think that, you know... People that can put aside their differences and fight the common cause is going to be the whole. That's going to be the, the entire thing, and yeah. I don't think Cersei can do that. And he got the fuck. They got the fuck out of there. So. Yeah, they did. 
He's like, he's been making swords for the Lannisters for the past what been nice. how long? Yeah. And it, wow, all that there's... anger has just been building up. Would have been nice if he was like, could you send me a dragon or can you fly me up there, get this thing, bring it back? I, I thought I thought she was going to offer him a yeah. dragon when they were sitting at the table. I, mean, like, I haven't wouldn't... given you permission yeah. to leave. I'm a king. Take a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> she would have to go with him. He okay. wouldn't yeah. really learn, but... Oh, that scene with Jurgon, man. So good. That was... Who's going to write the third one? There's a lot of theories. I don't know. I don't think... They can't imagine mm-hmm. Tyrion away in the show. I mean, he was able to touch the dragon in the dragon yeah. pit in Marine. I don't really want to wish the uh, dragon. Bran. Maybe. Broken Jon Snow said those teleportation machines are working overtime this season. Yeah. Well, we are seeing just characters just, you know, Dragon Stone and King's Landing aren't that far away from each other. Yeah, I know. Which is why he could just row there. We just haven't seen him. But uh, it's also just, we only well, have a couple hours a of this thing left. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I meant Gendry. Oh. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, we kept saying, Gendry's rowing all this time. So like, he probably got there in like I think he just a couple went days. to the mainland and then went back. Yeah. Like, walked. But anyway, like, uh, <laughs> teleportation machines, I mean... It's just a. Uh, this is the nature of a show that only has a handful of episodes left in its entire yeah. run. I think it meant like you know Davos and Tyrion were King's Landing, yeah. and then they were back at Dragon's. <coughs> yeah. Then Jon and them were up at the yeah. Wall. We're just missing. <laughs> we're missing yeah. days. Yeah. And like we said, the only real problem with that is sometimes some scenes that are split apart should only take place in the twenty minutes, whereas scenes over here are taking place over the course of two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Toast Knight said, from one to broken, how hard did Eric's Baratheon boner hit the table when he saw Gendry's hammer? It wasn't broken. His dick is the fury. I heard it creak. The table might have broken. His dick is the fury. <laughs> um, you know whose else dick was the fury? <laughs> dick on. It was the fire, I guess. Fiery fury. Yeah. If your G- dick is burning. GG said, uh... <laughs> When, your <laughs> when Kyburn asked if she needed anything, I knew she was pregnant, but I thought it was Euron's baby. Any chance that she's lying? There's definitely a chance that she's lying. Is she lying about the father? Yes. Is she, she not pregnant at all? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, Maybe. he just She hasn't even back. gotten with Euron right? yet, right? Well, not that we've seen. That's <laughs> true. She could be Kyburn's for all we know. He seems like the kind of guy that would climb a wall. Anthony. I'll impregnate the bitch. <laughs> Anthony said, if Cersei's really pregnant, how do you think she will react if she gives birth to a dwarf? Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Not well. Not well at all. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ham says, that. do you think Cersei's telling the truth, or is she just manipulating Jamie with the pregnancy? So there's. If she does give birth to a dwarf, I hope it kills her. Did Maggie the Frog, the witch that gave her the prophecy, only say that she would have three children? Um... I don't know. Because, I mean, technically in the show, she's had four because the, the, her child with Robert died before. Right. Was, yeah. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that prophecy is like you'll have three kids and then a queen will replace you. More beautiful. Which she thought was Marjorie. Yeah, it should have been. It's not going to be her. It'll be no. Daenerys. Should have been. Yeah. But I think it said three kids. Golden hair. So does that maybe like the Maybe the life? fourth isn't golden hair. Yeah. Maybe it is your own. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she isn't pregnant. I feel like she's not. And there's not enough... I don't know how much time left the show has, but I feel like with mm-hmm. winter here, there's not enough time for nine months to pass, is there? I mean, I it takes how... a month for them to get from King's Landing to yeah. the Wall. True. And and Sam is traveling by cart from Old Town So he'll be north, the next episode. Right? I, there's, I could see it, yeah. Like, for characters going across continents without, like, a ship or something like yeah. that, it's taken them the space of a show that we have not seen them to get there. An episode, True. you mean? But, I mean, we, yeah. you know, it took two episodes, or three episodes to get to uh, to King's Landing in season one, but Catelyn got to the next episode, you know? Yeah. We, we've seen it before, Littlefinger, the entire run of the show, being able to get places oh and stuff. So, it's just a matter of, we don't want, we, you know, like, I can't watch the fucking... Treebeard just walking in the forest and, and Lord of the Rings. Like, when I read that book, it's boring. Yeah. By design. Tolkien wants you it's supposed to, to feel bored by Treebeard, and it takes forever to get to the end of that chapter. But when you do, you're like, oh, shit. So good. Fine, finally, done with it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but you can't have that in a show like this. You can't, you know? because it's, what, $15 million an episode? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark Y.B. said, Isn't it ironic that John and Gendry are bonding because of their fathers, when in actuality, Gendry's 
dad killed Johns. <laughs> yeah, crushed yeah. his chest plate. That's true. Um, I, hopefully they just become really good friends. Uh, Stephanie said, do you also wonder what happened to the Unsullied at Castle Rock? Daenerys doesn't seem to be worried about that. No, them. we haven't got a mention of them. They said no. that they would have to, because Euron's fleet is, is attacking, they would have to come back across. Yeah. Maybe they left and caught up with uh, Danny's army at the, uh, the ambush on the road Possibly. with the carts. I was going to say, like, there's, a, Lannister, happen, there's but... a huge Lannister army in between Castle Rock and King's Landing. Yeah. But now I should say there was. Yeah. You know? So maybe they could just come back. Maybe. I would say the larger part of the force went through with the gold yeah. to, like, protect that and True. hurry it along. Uh, last question I really see, uh, besides Rakan, just saying, Avengers Game of Thrones edition, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, Shannon saying, did you notice the stag on Gendry's hammer? Yes. House Baratheon is back. John and Drogon was still my favorite scene, however. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good scenes in this episode. Uh, it, it's, mm-hmm. it's like you said before, like, each each episode, like, the scene, like, there's, it's always a good scene. There's never a scene where I'm just like, man, I don't... I don't want to see this. And I'm also... I want to see what's going on here. I'm also afraid when the episode is ending. Yeah. Like when Sam was going off, I'm like, shit, don't, 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 yes! You know, it keeps going. And then yes, and yes, and yes. And then it gets to the wall, I'm like, fuck, they always end when this thing opens yeah. up and they walk out in the white and it fades to white. And then what happened? Fade to white. Yep. And then it went to black. Just like this. Damn it. And we're back to tell you about end card stuff. At the end of these videos, we talk about end card stuff. Mm-hmm. That includes full length. You can watch the whole reaction. Whoa. That includes the uh, poll where you can go to patreon.com and enter the poll. Whoa. And subscribe. Man. For more. Yes. Back Please. to white. Yes. 